evening. It's great to be back here today. Just um, want to give you a couple updates on what we're doing. Um, I'm not here to announce that I'm not from there. <laughs> All my colleagues are not from there, and um, yeah. someone needs to take care of the ship while they're all running and um, teach the new mayor how to run the city. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, um, very excited, um, as you know, last year because of the concerns that I heard from many of you, uh, we passed the uh, news and control uh, audience, and the first one, the first citation was issued recently at 28 Fleet Street. Um, so she's in the process, she got arrested that day too, but she's in the criminal process. But the next time that we go to that address, um, the landlord will also be fine. So this is the first, and hopefully we will see a difference. Um, met with Mass Doc recently, because what I wanted to do is finally, as you know, last year, as a pilot, we uh, prohibit parking on that cross street lot between Salem and Hanover Street. So I would really like to see something happen at that location now. So uh, working with the Greenway, I guess some nice big pots there. Hopefully plant some flowers out there uh, this spring. And there's some other activities that we like to see there, but Mass Talk right now controls it. And uh, so we'll be going back to the neighborhood to talk about that. But I think that's a good opportunity for us to do something at that location. And um, I think we all can agree that it's pedestrian friendly. Thank you. On um, next week, we're going to be in the North End Public Works. I know Nicole's probably going to mention it. So next week, we'll be in the North End uh, doing sidewalks and, and reconstruction of Salem Street. Um, one good thing I'd like to announce, and Nicole was with me when we talked to the commissioner. Uh, we will be getting new lighting on Salem Street, Acorn Lights. So um, it is my goal is as we reconstruct new streets in the North End, that we get new lights in the North End, hopefully the Acorn Lights. So it's a beginning, um, start on Salem Street. Um, still finalizing uh, the two hour parking resident exempt. So, uh, in the park of those two hours spots. There's um, Steven's been working with the transportation department on that. So it's not every two hour parking spot that some in the inner neighborhoods will be resident parking. We have two hour parking set for resident parking stairs, which I think will help as some more parking. Uh, very excited. Uh, 585 Commercial Street is going to be a school. And I think that's a big, big victory for the North End, uh, where we can keep families in the neighborhood. Um, as you know, uh, we're expanding the Yelling School, and um, and then we'll have 585 up and running in 2014. So this is a big victory for the neighborhood. We won't have to worry about the high rise at 585. I know that a lot of you people get fought against that six years ago. Right? Six years ago. That was about six years ago? Yeah. So with that and the new school choice plan, I think it's really going to benefit this neighborhood where we're going to be able to keep, keep our kids here so they can go to school closer uh, to their homes. I had uh, situations where uh, parents who live across the street from the Elliott School could not send their kids to the Elliott School. So a big, big win for the neighborhood. Very excited about that. Um, Barclay Place improvements. While we're doing Sailing Street, we're going to be doing some improvements to Barclay Place. Um, we have some of the of that. Uh, we're not doing a lot there. Some bollards, some cars won't park there. Um, a couple plants, we're there, trees, and some bike racks. Um, as you know, there's more and more uh, residents of North End that use bikes, which is a good thing. Um, what else? Not that. Oh. Some good news. Um, we've got money in this year's budget to uh, redesign North Square, which is going to be uh, a really nice thing for the neighborhood. Um, so uh, we're going to put money out for design and there'll be reconstruction in North Square, which is uh, very good. And Elliott School, as you know, will be uh, work again this year. Uh, I don't want to talk trash, because we talk trash all the time. Um, 
we had a nice meeting with the uh, neighborhood council uh, to talk about trash. It was a nice, interesting meeting. Uh, I personally would like to see trash put out at 6 o'clock in the morning, pick up at 9. Uh, this, you know, the trash companies say they can't do it. Um, the public works commission has a little concerns. So I will be driving with the, with the trash companies one morning at, before 7 o'clock, and then one morning I'm having to go up there at 9 o'clock and just see what the impacts are of the neighborhood. So that's some of the things that are happening. And I'll, if you want me to take some questions or concerns. Uh, any questions? Uh, if you have any requests for sidewalk repairs, uh, please um, send me an email this week because they'll be doing sidewalks in the North Bank in the next couple of weeks. So if we can get a list together, uh, that would be very helpful. I don't want to come at the street. I'm just having more comments today. Mark? Sorry, Stephanie, you're here. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Uh, Stephanie Ho, Tension Street. Uh, Sal, just a quick idea and, and a question. Mm -hmm. And the idea touches on trash, but uh, I was just thinking it might be uh, great for people who are, are going to be fined for noise violations if they did some community service. And I think the community service that would be terrific and really appreciated would be picking up trash. I really enjoy <laughs> <enjoyed laughs> <it>. cigarette <laughs> bugs in our daffodil beds in our greenway parcels that we're just about to celebrate. Really yeah. annoyed about that. Oh, yeah, that. Sunday at 12. Yeah. 12. yeah. My, my question is, is there any chance of getting some funding to reopen the public restaurant? Uh, right now, listen, I know that's a, a big concern for me, but uh, no, I wish I would try. Um, but at this time, the city is not going to do that. At this time. Okay, we, we're going to have Tom uh, Skibo, you're talking about that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, Bart? <laughs> yeah, I, I know you didn't want to talk about trash, so maybe I should say this for later, but since Sorry. you're here, I'll take advantage of it. Sure. One of the worst violators of, of our trash uh, regulations in the city is actually the Elliott School. This is a picture of uh, Friday the 8th of uh, March, and it was, it was not picked up until the following Tuesday in the early afternoon. And this is a picture of the Saturday, the morning, the 23rd. It had been out there since the day before, and it also wasn't picked up until the Tuesday, which is the 26th. So when you get things like this, you get the, the school bags attract other people to put their bags there, and this, it turns into this enormous rat pile, basically. And I've talked to the school, and they say all the right things. We're very concerned about it. We know there's a problem. We're trying to, the trash company won't do it, et cetera, et cetera. But it doesn't change. Every weekend, it's the same thing. So I'm asking if either Nura or you or, or both can write the Elliott School and just say, you know, you need to clean up your act. Well, I can talk to Ms. Tracy and see what's going on over there. Uh, I don't know if they only have three days pick up over there or how many days. I don't know. In, in, in any case, they shouldn't fill this up to, to excess capacity. No, you can see here. They, they fill it up to way, so there's a huge mountain of trash. And then if, if they had two or three of these things, then the, the well, problem maybe this would might be the part. solution. That might be the solution. To get yeah, so, something needs to be done because then, I don't know, you can't see it against the is side. Is that in the back? Or is it the side? No, no, it's right. This is Charter Street. This is yeah, Charter Street. Street right here. And these are, it looks like some of these are actually household residential bags that people saw all this mess, so they just come along the floor there, there too. That happens all the time. Yeah. The trash <laughs> I'll take that picture. Yeah, yeah, please. Be happy. Yeah, give me one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, no, don't give it. The crowd party, battery warp. Um, we had to discuss with us a number of ideas for how to street care of some of the congestion and uh, out of the box thinking. I wonder if there's anything uh, new going on with that. On Handle the Street, well, uh, last time I, went, I suggested something to Handle the Street, they wanted a lunch on Handle the Street, so um, yeah, that, that's a, uh, you know, Handle the Street has is, is been the hot, um, <coughs> it's a hot button issue in the North End. I really think that we need to do something over there. Um, we have 
a group of students from North Easton who uh, just came as a school project, came up with some, some suggestions, and uh, it's tough. I mean, I would love to see something happen over there. I think that the sidewalks are really congested, uh, they're not big enough. I really would like to see uh, a one-way handling street if that's possible. Uh, we have a new mayor coming into town in uh, January, maybe we could talk about it later. But I agree, it needs to be addressed. I would love to address it. Anyone else? Yeah, yeah. 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 thank you, Brian. Uh, redesign a part of uh, uh, North, North Square. North Square. Yes. I think it's a great idea. Uh, but a couple of questions. In whose budget uh, did the money go? Oh, the North Public Works. And how is the Redesign going to be handled. Will there be public input? Yes, yes. We just got we just got the money. There's a lot of grading issues that have to be done over there. There'll be a lot of utility to have to move around. So uh, it's just we just got the money this year. So I'm very excited about that. It's something that we've been trying to do for a while. Well, you mentioned uh, what a, an RFP or a, or a study or something like that. I just hope that we can get in. Oh yeah, there, there, yeah. There, there will definitely be <laughs> um, community involved. I think it's important because it's a it's a, it's a major project, which will be uh, something we will have to do years and years and years. David, hi, Dave Kubiak, Prism Place. Has the council yet voted on the purchase of five Yes, we did. did. So it's approved. Very excited about that. And also, uh, twelve to one, together with the money that took to purchase it, the money that will it will take to convert it to a school. There's also considerable money that needs to be spent on transportation improvements, especially in the two intersections that do maybe cross and through to get to the school. West Enders and Beacon Hill children, especially yeah. that go to that school, have to go through two very, very dangerous intersections. And even North End kids are going to have to cross commercial streets. That's a really dangerous spot. And there's all sorts of interest that that location too, including the forest buses as well that need to be kept in the yeah. market somewhere. So I imagine you know it's a, something that we will study. And, uh, it's also a location we'll probably have to put a traffic enforcement officer in the barn so the kids can cross. So that's something that we, we should look at. I'm sure we will. That's a major intersection. School crossing. Out. Okay, thank you, uh, Councilor Rob Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Oh, one more announcement. Um, actually, uh, it's a sad announcement, to be honest with you. Uh, Stephen Pascantilli, my name yet or not then, is uh, leaving me at the end of the month. So uh, uh, he served this neighborhood well. He's chairman of the neighborhood council, and uh, he's been with me now since day one, and I will miss him. But he will still be in the lot then and working with the neighborhood. So, with that, I'm excited that I will miss Stephen. Uh, Stephen is not running for mayor at this time. <laughs>